back to the channel. In this quick video, we're going to see how this Umrol Extreme Shield Ceramic Tie Coater do on extremely, I'm talking extremely, that lack that bumper trim and trim molding going around the fender wheels. As you can see how neglected that looks. Alright, now this is around 10 bucks at Walmart. Y'all know I like to come up and talk about products like this. I talked about this one several times before, but I never actually tried it on the elected, really faded out black trim, you know, like this. Or this. I tried it a lot of times on tires and stuff mostly, but, you know, like I said, not an elected trim. So we're going to just hit it here. Okay. Go around with it. And instead of using an applicator, I think I'm going to use a microfiber cloth with this. You can see how bad this is neglected here. See here, this is how it looked at first. Very neglected. And this is how it looked once I spray the stuff on it. Now, once you spray it up there, you don't want to let it sit because it comes out of the can. I changed the spray on mine. It comes out a little bit thick. So you may have to change your sprayer on your can. So uh, after you let it sit up there for maybe uh, one to two minutes and then rub it in there. All right, so keep the video from getting screaming long, y'all. This is on my Nissan Pathfinder Hellcat Red Eye Demon. Y'all hang tight and put your own paws and let this kind of sit. All right, guys, now, so we let it sit for maybe two to three minutes. It's the armor all tire coating. So now we're just going to rub it in. All right, here we go. All right. All right. All right here. See here how good that looks. Okay. So I'll wipe this in here. And y'all see how good it transforms trim. I mean this trim really neglected, man. It basically it ain't even black. It wasn't even black. It was almost ashy white. Like, look at here. See the difference? Now, if you don't want it this high of a shine, you always can knock it down with a microfiber cloth. That's the way I see it. But y'all see the difference compared to where the way it looks. Look, you can go around with your lights with it. Just come behind it with a microfiber cloth and knock off any excess. And it dries down to more of a satin sham anyway. Look at here. Does an excellent job on the trim. Yes, sir. You can see the perfect 50 50 right here. Check that out. And like I said, if you don't want this product then too shiny, take a microfiber cloth and just knock it down. All right, but you see the 50-50 here too as well. This is where it looked first. This is how it looked second. See here? Perfect 50-50. It brings out trim. And I repeat myself again. If you don't want it this shiny, stop the kids up. Stop the kid now ye. Knock it down with a microfiber cloth. All right, just plain and simple. If, if you don't want this much of a gloss to it, that's all you got to do. Take a microfiber cloth like this, just come behind it and knock it down if you want more of a lower sheen. But it's still gonna leave behind a really good look compared to this, see here? So there you have it. Hit that subscribe button and sharing products, man. Till next time, your boy's out. Peace.